Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the live face-off for Pretended a Contender. Uh, this is ahead of our April 29th show at the Melbourne Pavilion, presented by Team Alice, and streaming live on Game Face. We've got a really exciting uh, bunch of face-offs today. We're going to be starting with one of the best matchups of the evening. We've got Connie Chan versus Taylor Harris. It's going to be a great bout. We're really looking forward to seeing it, especially live in attendance. But Again, if you want, if you can't make it to the pavilion on the day on April 29th, you can watch it live on Game Face. Uh, we've got Connie Chan, first of all, a, uh, a veteran of the sport, fighting out of Queensland, uh, facing off against Taylor Harris, a bit of a legend of Australian sport, uh, still undefeated and two-time Australian champion, both in middleweight and junior middleweight. Uh, Connie, I want to start with you. You've been you've been pretty active in recent years. Uh, Taylor's had quite a few years off. Um, how are you? Is, is that affecting your mindset going into the bout? Uh, are you thinking that she's going to be a bit rusty, or are you preparing for her at her best? Oh, definitely for her best. Like you can't ever underestimate the opponent. So it's um it doesn't matter how inactive they are. They could be training all the time. So it doesn't really matter to be honest. I'm, I'm sure that she is. I know I know she's a very hard worker, um, but she does have a bit of a, a larger than life following. She's got a, you know, she's a very well-known name. Does that affect you at all, knowing that there's a, a lot of general public interest in your opponent across the ring? No, not really. Um, Boxing, to me, is just like there's an opponent and I've just got to prep for my opponent and that's about it. And then once we're in the ring, it's just, it's the two of us in there and that's it. So there's, it really doesn't phase me too much about what happens on the outside because at the end of the day, it's just the two of us in the ring doing what we do best. Yeah, a hundred percent. You've you've had a lot more amateur bouts uh, than Taylor. How do you think that's going to help you in the fight on the night? Oh, I think it just experience, I guess. Um, experience in the ring and time in the ring. That's probably about all that might help. But it also, you know, just depends on what happens on the night. Taylor could be someone that I've never styled, that I've never fought before. So all that experience goes out the window, really. Yeah, um, I want to I want to cross over to you, Taylor. Um, first of all, happy birthday. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day so far. Um, and if, if I know anything about you, I, uh, I know that you wouldn't rather be anywhere else other than preparing for a fight. I know you love it. Um, it has been a few years since we've seen you in the ring. Can you tell us a little bit about this camp and um, any way that it's been different from what you've done in the past? Because it has been quite a while. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else. I love boxing. I love all this part of it as well. You know, obviously as athletes, this is part and parcel these days with competing so you have to enjoy all of it sometimes it's you know it's not your bread and butter but I think for me this kind of thing I find enjoyment and it's a experience that I guess you have to work on as much as you work on your craft in the ring you've got to work on this sort of stuff as well so um, yeah and I think in terms of training camp it's been a four year long training camp pretty much so not fi not lack of fighting through design I just haven't had the opportunity obviously over COVID and then two football seasons in one year didn't allow for any opportunity to get a fight in. So that's the reason, not not due to any, you know, of my choice, but it just makes me hungrier and more excited to get back in the ring and showcase what we've been working on in the gym. And I think I've been having some pretty good sparring sessions um, with some decent opponents as well. So I think that all leads up to preparation um, and being ready to get in there and not having any ring rust and things like that. I had a really good spa on Friday um, with a girl from Tasmania that came up, Kayla, and she was yeah fantastic to work with and really good round. So feeling good, feeling ready and excited. You look to be in incredible shape heading into this fight, in the, in the best shape I've seen you in going into any fight in your career so far. Um, it's a, it, it, it's, for a big prize, you guys are fighting for the ANBF uh, Super Welterweight or Junior Middleweight title. Um, it's a it's a big deal, and I, I just wanted to know how that's playing on your on your mind because you've been there before. You won back to back titles in 2019. I just want to know how it's feeling this time around compared to those first times. 
yeah, it's a big deal. And it's an honour to be fighting against Connie for this title as well. I think it's certainly a fight that people should tune into because it's going to be two people who have worked, you know, worked their ass off to be in this position. And, and both of us are on the night, of course, going to be thinking I'm not going to let anyone or anything get in my way. So I've absolutely prepared for a really, really good quality fight that is going to be entertaining for everyone and I'm no doubt Connie's the exact same so really looking forward to a challenge and I think that's something that I'm I've, I've missed obviously in the last four years putting myself in that you know the most challenging most you know difficult thing that you can ever do get in the boxing ring and to do it against someone who's you know done it way more times than I have it's yeah it's it's exciting like I, this is why you do sport I don't think you you sign up to fight unless you're enticed by that you know that idea of the ultimate challenge so I think that's what this is and I think obviously with the belt on the line it can add a little bit more motivation and I think that's what we're both going to have stepping in the ring on the 29th. Connie a similar similar question for you uh is it business as usual for you? Is it sort of just like any other fight, or does this does this title, this title shot bring extra motivation to to the bout? It's more than just a fight. Um, the title definitely ignites and um, gets gets me excited. Um, if it's like a normal fight, it's good, but when you've got a title on the line, it definitely brings up a lot of cool emotions and just deep dive into yourself to find out, you know, what you, what you're really made of really. So that's what, that's what excites me most about it all. Yeah. It's a, it, it's a fight that we're all really looking forward to. And I'm sure a lot of Australia are, are really looking forward to it. It's going to leave the winner in a great position on the world stage in the junior middleweight division. Um, what I, I want to start with you, Connie, um, should you get the win on the 29th of April? Where do you feel like that leaves you? And, um, where do you, where do you feel like you go from there? Oh, great question. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't think much more than just the fight that's presented in front of me. I can't, I don't look too far down the pipeline. Like it's just one fight at a time. Um, Cause I'm still fairly young in the, the professional scene. Um, despite having a, an amateur background, they are two totally different styles. So for me, it's just one fight at a time, not to get too far ahead of myself and then yeah, we'll see what happens on the 29th. And then from there, my team will get together and make a plan for the next step. 100%, it's a good answer. Um, Taylor, uh, same same question uh, for you. Should you win this bout, um, it'll be your third time capturing a title. Um, it, it, it seems like there's there's big steps ahead for you um, if, if you're able to get past Connie on the 29th. Um, where do you, where do you feel like it leaves you if you get the, if you get the W? Yeah, well, I echo Connie's answer. I think it was a great great answer as well. Obviously, this as an athlete, it's important to make sure you focus and and tick off what's in front of you first, and then move forward and reassess with your team, uh, get some obviously opinions and and assess how that fight just went, and then plan accordingly. Um, I think naturally, this is my you know first fight back in a long time, so I think it would be silly of me to look past it but because I'm you know someone who's quite organized in my day-to-day -day life I, I do like to at least roughly kind of plan and have dreams and ambition moving forward so absolutely nothing set in stone but absolutely aspiring to go far and to take opportunities as they come but what they are I, I can't say now I don't know now but certainly something exciting will be coming and Regardless of the uh, the decision or of the um, result on fight night, it's going to be something great. Like my, my life is, you know, so exciting every day, let alone year to year. So I can't wait for what's next, what's coming in two weeks, what's tomorrow, you know, like what's today. So it's, yeah, it's a good way to be, I think. And I reckon my, my edge and my point of difference, I've got no fear of losing. And that's why I won't. That's why I will win because I don't have an issue with, you know, with losing. Football set me up for that. You have in football, you play again the following week, regardless win, lose or draw. So I think that's a bit of a 
bit of a weapon that I have is my ability to, to wholeheartedly believe that I'm going to win, but be comfortable with the reality of life that, you know, every, everything happens the way it happens and there's nothing you can change about it. So I think a lot of people get caught up on what might happen and then that then affects their actual performance. I will, um, I'll, I'll wrap it up guys. Thank you so much for that, for that answer too, Taro. Um, Connie, do you have any predictions for how you feel the fight's going to go on the 29th? Uh, no, not really. But my only prediction is that I know the best version of myself is going to be there on the night. Um, and to perform to the best of my ability that on the 29th I can. So that's pretty much all I can wish for and hope for pretty much. And, and same for you, Taylor? Yeah, obviously I'm going to bring the best version as well. As you see, um, yeah, this camp has been a really good one, a real solid, uninterrupted process, which I've enjoyed. Um, haven't missed a beat, haven't missed a session, uh, let alone a sit up. So I'm <laughs> excited for us to put on a good performance because there's nothing better than sport when two people coming into the ring in peak condition. I just can't, can't think of anything better. So I can't wait. Um, obviously, I wish Connie all the best. And I just hope we both, you know, get in there and get out of there safely. And, and it's an entertaining performance for the fans. And yeah, I can't wait. Looking forward to it. Well, we're all we're all looking forward to it. I know the rest of Australia are looking forward to it. And again, if you haven't got tickets for the Melbourne Pavilion on the 29th, you can watch the fight live on Game Face. I want to thank Taylor Harris and Connie Chan for joining us today ahead of their fight for the junior middleweight Australasian title. It's an awesome matchup, and we're really looking forward to watching you guys get in there. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank appreciate you it. Thank you both. So just quickly, so, sorry yeah, to any fans yeah. that were looking for some shit talk, but I think the two <laughs> of us are the ultimate professionals and that's what's going to bring the, the good fight. But hopefully one of the other press conferences can provide that for those looking for it. <laughs> I, I, I think if they've watched you before today, they probably know that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, Connie. Appreciate it. See you on the 29th. You too. Enjoy the rest of your birthday. You too. Thank you. Oh, not you too, but whenever your birthday is. <laughs>